It's Umsum time. Ah, what if the Earth was cube shaped? Holy moly! Will my cute chubby round face also turn into a cube? <laughs> oh, Umsum. <laughs> Earth is spherical in shape because of gravity. Ah. Earth's gravity mm. pulls everything equally towards its center and thus ah. gives it a spherical shape. Now, if the Earth was cube-shaped, firstly, it would look weird, right? Secondly, just like gravity, our weight would be different at different places on Earth. This is because the eight corners of the cube would be much further away from the cube's center as compared to the rest of the cube. But this would be good news for people who are overweight and lazy. Now they can just go to the corners ah. and voila, their weight gets reduced. Thirdly, due to low gravitational force, the cube corners would have very less atmospheric cover and almost no water, thus rendering them inhospitable. What if the Earth had two moons? So what? Even I have my two lollipops. I lick them every day. Hmm? That's gross, Sum Sum. The most obvious effect of two moons would be that our nights would be oh. much, much mm. brighter. That would certainly be bad news for stargazers huh? and astronomers. Also, as you all know that tides on Earth are a result of the moon, so two moons would either amplify this effect or cancel out each other. If they were to amplify, then we could have huge tides, effectively making living near shorelines almost impossible but it will definitely be good news for all the surfers. Hmm. Finally, as the number of moons increases, so will the number of solar eclipses. Also, hypothetically, if they were to ever collide with each other, then the amount of debris coming out of such collision would make living on Earth almost impossible. Hmm. <laughs> what if Earth stopped hmm. spinning? It would gain weight. No, I'm some. Oh. The Earth spins at a speed of 1,000 miles per hour. Its atmosphere also moves along with it at a constant speed. If the Earth stops spinning suddenly, the atmosphere would still be in motion, sending everything on the Earth's surface flying into the atmosphere. Now, Earth spinning generates a centrifugal force which is responsible for the huge bulge of water around the equator. Huh? No spinning means no centrifugal force. This water would migrate towards the poles, where gravity is the strongest, leaving behind a giant landmass. Also, remember that, even though the Earth stops spinning, it is still revolving around the sun. This means we would experience a six-month day, followed by six-month night. Some experts oh. also believe that Earth's rotation generates its magnetic field. <laughs> Without rotation, there would be no magnetic field to protect us from the harmful solar winds, making it extremely difficult to survive. What if there was no gravity on Earth? No problemo. I will order my burger from space. Oh, um, some. Hmm? From purely physics point of view, there would be no Earth left, as no gravity means oh. no mass. But leaving this point aside, let's see what else will happen. Oceans, rivers, and lakes will float away. Entire atmosphere will vanish. Only vacuum will be left. Everything on the surface of the Earth, including humans, cars, rocks, etc., will become weightless and float away into space. Things that are rooted into Earth like trees, bridges, and buildings will remain, but not for long. On a funnier note, anybody will be able to ah. lift heavy weights. Football will become a one-kick game, and there will be no need of stairs or elevators. Finally, Earth will also start breaking into chunks as it is held together by gravity. <laughs>